Good morning. In case you don't know me, my name is Kathy Johnson, and I'm here to help you share the message with you today a little bit. How many of you went to Bible school here? Did you really? Did you go to Bible school this week? No. Okay. So some of this stuff is going to sound a little bit old to you because some of it you learned this week, but you know what? The gospel of Christ never gets old. The message is always new for us every day. So I want you to think about this. I want you to think about a ticket, okay? And hopefully not the kind the policeman or policewoman would give you. What would you need a ticket for? A train. Good answer. What else would we need a ticket for? A plane. A plane. Good answer. What else? How many of you go to the show? And so you need to go, you need to have a ticket, right? How about if we are going to go to the Slammers game on Friday night? Do we need a ticket? Woohoo! Yeah? Okay. So the one thing about those tickets is they cost money. Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese, good. So a Chuck E. Cheese, you get a prize, okay? And then you need tickets for a prize at Chuck E. Cheese. Okay. Do those tickets cost us money? No. Not at Chuck E. Cheese. You had, to pay, you had to put money in the machine to get the tickets, right? If I want to go on a train or a plane or to the show or to the Slammers game, does that cost us money? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't know any time you get on the plane for free, okay? Unless you have a lot of points, but that's not me. Okay, so I want to tell you one thing. You learned this lesson this week in Bible school. Okay, somebody want to read this for me? Oh, let's say it all together. We all know this. John three sixteen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It may say everlasting or eternal. Same, it means the same thing. Okay, so what does it mean? Forever and ever? Okay. How many of you have gone to... Uh, Walmart or Target or Walgreens to buy a gift card. How many of you have gone to Walgreens or Target or wherever to buy a gift card? Yeah, I know. We all do. Okay. Here's my question. You know, they have, sometimes they'll have racks of them. Have you ever seen a gift card for heaven? Can we buy a ticket to heaven? No. We have our free ticket to heaven in Jesus. And all he wants us to do is believe and ask for forgiveness of our sins. Here's another question. Let's watch it. Raise your hand, okay? How many of you are sinners? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Everybody should have their hand up. Okay, good. Good answer. Okay, because we are all sinners. Even if we sometimes we sin and don't even know that we're sinning or we remember our sin. But all we have to do is ask Jesus to forgive our sins. Is that right? Okay, so do we say that in the Lord's Prayer? It doesn't say sins, though. It says, forgive us our what? So what is that? Is that a a sin? And forgive those who sin against us? Or or if I hit you in the head, that wouldn't be very good, would it? But, or if you hit me in the head, I have to forgive you, Right? So Jesus forgives our sins. All we have to do is believe in him and ask him. And he is the only way to heaven. Can't buy it. Can't do anything and say, oh, look how good I am, God. It doesn't happen. We're all sinners. And Jesus forgives our sins. And someday I'm going to see all of you in heaven. Won't that be exciting? I'll see all of you and all my friends and all my relatives that have gone before me. Okay, so one way that we could, oh, I know, this is my big point of my lesson. I'm almost lost it. So Jesus, does he keep a record of our sins? Does he? Does he have a big computer up in heaven? And he just goes, oh, Kathy Johnson, you said, oh, God, and you really weren't calling on God, right? Because sometimes I'll go, oh, God, and God, God is going, yes, what did you want, Right? And that's not right. That's wrong. We're taking the name of God in vain. Okay? When we call to God, he wants, us, he wants to listen to us. So we shouldn't say, like, I dropped something and I shouldn't call God's name. That's not right. Okay, so he erases our sin. And he uses, and he, we use erasers to erase things that we make. We make 
oops on, right? If I add uh, 2 and 8 and I get 11, is that right? Is that right? No, I don't, I don't, I don't think so either. So I'm going to have to put down, erase my answer, okay? So God erases all our sins. Now, here's the second part of my lesson. We are having, and you know this if you went to Bible school, and you all have one of these in your bulletin, and it's for the backpack collection that's going on. We are going to just work with Emmanuel Richton Park. How many know where Emmanuel Richton Park is? It's just down the road and over a ways. Okay, every summer they have what they call the back to school bash. And they packed, last year, they packed over 200 backpacks full of school supplies. We'll look at, let's, should we look at some of them that we have in here? What do you think? Obviously, eraser. And this is one of the things, this for the older kids, a scientific calculator. I don't even know how this works, so they're, Fifth graders are definitely smarter than I am, okay? And then a scissors, a pointy scissors. You can read the list. So what we would like to do is make a collection to help them out. Richton Park, uh, the churches there are helping out. There's stores in Richton Park. And it's free to all the children. And they have bouncies and jumpies and face painting and food. But they're helping out the children with backpacks. Now, why do we think we might have to help them out? Right, they might not have, their parents might not have enough money to buy all the school supplies. It can really, really add up, especially if more than one child. So maybe the money they, they wouldn't have to put on to spend on school supplies, they could use to buy them a t-shirt or something to wear to school, something new. Well, we'd like your help, and here's my other suggestion. This list is pretty long and if you've been to a school supply section in the store, it's pretty intimidating. Like, you know, there are six different kinds of pencils, and, you know, they're asking for some specific things, like 24 count of crayons, so that everything is equal. And they need something out of all this list, okay? And I know that it's tough. So, and some people might not like to shop. They might not like to go to Walmart, or which is the best place for school supplies right now, hint, hint. And so if you would rather make a monetary donation, you can put that on the other line in, on your envelope and just put school supplies or backpacks, or you can use one of these little handy-dandy envelopes in the pew rack um, to, to put your donation in if you so desire, and someone will shop for you. But we need something of everything. And I know that hoping soon that Menards will have their, sorry, plugging Menards, um, they're going to have their rebate going on. And they'll have backpacks at a very reasonable price. But once again, if you don't desire to shop, but we would like you to help you out. Um, Larry said the lesson is on the Good Samaritan. And this kind of falls in line with the Good Samaritan, helping out others. OK, and that, I know you don't want to talk about going back to school. I'm sorry. I really am. Um, I would like to pray, and then I would like to give you each an eraser, and I would like you to remember when you're erasing something that God erases our sins. Jesus erases our sins, doesn't keep count of them, and he did that for us. And like Pastor Traster said last week in his sermon, that God gave up his only son. And Pastor Traster said, you know, he loves us all very, very much, but he wouldn't give up one of his sons. And I'm sure we wouldn't give up one of our daughters or one of our grandsons, even though I love you all, okay? Can you say a prayer with me? Thank you, Lord, for sending your son to take our place to die for our sins and that you do not keep a record of our wrongs, that you erase them. Help us to enjoy the rest of our summer before we go back to school. Keep us safe, be with us always, and let us enjoy this summer weather. In your name we pray. Amen. If you would like an eraser, I have one for you. It can start your school supply collection. That's one thing mom doesn't have to buy. Or if she already did, you can have one for home because I know we always need extra erasers because we make mistakes. And then you may go back to your seats. Carry this back for me. Somebody carry that. I have all my supply, my tricks here. Got one? Everybody got one? Thank you very much for coming up. You, you take one. Give it to your, give it to your.